I focused? Was it? Oh, it's windy outside. Hello, walls. This is the first day of the Peloton. Ah, starting a new vlog with a dying battery. This is a good start. I hope it's not a sign that I'm going to fail that read at but let me change the battery. I will be right back. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Uh, so I forgot what I was saying, but it was probably just the introduction. And that battery is dying as well. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a good start. I'm going to try to be as fast as possible. So this is my tea. This is my TBR for the Palatons. I have three books. Uh, I might have more depending on my mood, whatever. Uh, and also, we'll see if I manage to read many books. Let me know how many books you think I'm going to read uh, this weekend because I'm gonna try to make a daily vlog. I have tea, I have a playlist, ASMR playlist with wintry setting and it's just beautiful to get you in the mood. But yeah, I'm starting that radiaton super badly with two batteries uh, dying. So, uh, well, I haven't been vlogging whatever. Money is there, if you can see. I'm in the middle, I mean, I'm in the middle of the live. Can you see that we've been live for I don't know if you will be able to see. For 9 hours and 38 minutes, 55 seconds, whatever. Jade over at Jade Reads. So the creator of the palette and asked me to join her and uh, Molly on the live. And we've been reading for almost 10 hours. <laughs> this is just insane. And I actually finished The Girl in the Tower. The Girl in the Tower. I'm going to give it 5 stars. It was absolutely amazing. But yeah, I'm gonna get back to my uh live it's just like we've been reading for 10 hours like i cannot believe that like you would have told me that i would read a book for 10 hours on a live stream i would be like you totally crazy but actually that's what i did oh my gosh and like it's gonna be almost midnight here for me but it's planned to last until midnight for them in the uk so it's gonna be like until one here. I don't know if I'm gonna stay. Yeah, I want to stay till the end, but I don't know what I should read next. I mean, I think I know what they're gonna pick, but yeah, well, uh, so basically, if you want a real uh, vlog, go on Jade's channel and you will see 10 hours, 11 hours of me reading um, The Girl in the Tower. So yeah, it was nice. Uh, I'm gonna catch up on you later because I was planning on doing a daily vlog but that changes everything and uh, I still want to do it so I'm still that's why I'm still talking to you so I can still have something to update tomorrow they cannot believe it I've read for 10 hours we've been live streaming for 10 hours I'm starting to get tired but I'm really having fun so Wolves, it's the end of the 11 hours a live stream for the Peloton. So I finished um, The Girl in the Tower and I started this one. And I've read two first chapters and I feel like the third one is gonna make me cry. Do I keep it for tomorrow or do I give you my impression here? Is the chapter short? If it's short, I'm gonna read it with you. Yeah, okay, ready? Oh. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. 
I knew. I knew it. I knew it, Wolves. I knew it. Yeah, that always gets me. That kind of thing always gets me. But yeah, Press, I hope you're happy. <laughs> you wanted to see me crying. And I cried. A little bit, not ugly crying. I still cried. But yeah, Wolves, I think that's gonna be it. Like, very, very short for a first, like, I mean, update. Like, a first day of luck, whatever. I'm gonna edit tomorrow. No way I'm gonna edit that now. I'm too tired and too... It's one of the most beautiful series I have ever read. So if you haven't read The Bear and the Nightingale, I highly suggest you to do it. It has that Russian folklore and wintry setting with a girl who lives like a way, like near the wilderness, near the forest, etc. And she sees all those magical creatures that are like Russian based from Russian folklore and others cannot see them she's the only one and it's just like so freaking powerful it's so beautiful it's so like whimsical I want to say it's so atmospheric and atmospheric and like I love everything about this book and yes it's heavy on winter and it does make the difference for the atmosphere and the vibe of the book etc etc but the writing style it's so it's just so deep and immersive and everything. But yeah, it's really, really beautiful. I I guess it's an adult. I don't think it is a YA. It's more of an adult. I, I mean, in my opinion, I think Lainey Taylor said, Catherine Arden's Winter Night Trilogy isn't just good. It's a hug to your chest, straight to the favorite shelf, reread immediately, good, and each book just gets better. The Winter of the Witch plunges us back to 14th century Moscow, where all gods and new vibe for the soul of Russia and fate rests on a witch girl's slender shoulders. Prepare to have your heart ripped out, loaned back to you full of snow and magic and ripped out some more. This is exactly it. It's beautiful. Oh. But yeah, thank you Jade and Molly for having me for that 11 hour stream. Uh, it was like amazing. I was a bit stressed at the beginning. But I'm always stressed to actually start the vlog. I mean, to actually start the live because I cannot cut parts and I'm always scared to say something very like stupid or whatever. But uh, Jade and Molly made me feel very comfortable. So thank you ladies for that. And thank you to everyone who was there for the 11 hours. Or if you're there a little bit at the beginning, in the middle, at the end, whatever. Uh, thank you for reading a bit with us and talking to us. And I hope to, yeah, do more lives like this one. It was fun. It was fun. I love reading, like, lives. Yeah, I may do some more on my channel. Let me know if you like that. But yeah, well, I'm, I'm really gonna leave you here because I'm way too tired. And I'm gonna try to actually film with my phone. That's a bit of me of crying, like me crying, so I can send it to Pris. I'm really tired. I'm really tired. But yeah, well, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really don't know what's in there, but whatever. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be a part of the pack. Talk to me in the comment section as usual. And until next time, I mean, I guess there's gonna be a new one tomorrow. So until tomorrow, I guess, until next time, take care, Wolf. Bye.